Episode 14 Diakosi ois de malista hexes, epi tois pentacosi ois, epi mega elfen, he arche, kai xenikes te dunama os ekratesan aperu, kai ta pleista toneth non tate hupe gagonta, gaias te kaisar hupertus tate dunastausas, kaitain hegemonian kratunamanos te kai diathemanos es. Fula cane as fale, tamen schema tes politeas, kai ta anima efulaxe, manrakon de heaton epestese fasi. And diacosiois in the two hundred years, especially thereafter or following, hexes is an adverb, following epitois pentacosiois, following after the five hundred year period. So kosios or kosiois here. So 100, dia is 2, there's 5, pentecosiois. So the Roman Republic began in 509, and the death of Julius Caesar was in 44 BC. So this is about the 500-year period which Appian speaks of. He arche, their power, their empire, epi mega elthen, it grew to a great extent. It came, it went uh, to a huge extent. So elthen is the aorist third singular active, indicative, or indicative active, of the verb erkomai, which is deponent in the present, but not so in the aorist. It grew to a great extent, and kai, ekratesan, they gained power. This is the epsilon contract verb krateo, to gain power or control, and its aorist, the sigma alpha, and the augment. And they gained control, xenikes dunamaos, over foreign power. Dunamaos is a feminine singular genitive noun, and xenikes is modifying it of or relating to uh, something external or foreign. And aperu is also an adjective with dunamaos. It looks like it's masculine, but it's an adjective of two endings. That is one form for the masculine and feminine, and a separate form for the neuter, and thus it's modifying dunamaos. Aperu means limitless. There's the alpha privative, and there is peros, which means limit, so without limit. And ta, pleista, there's the object, neuter plural accusative, and over the majority of the nations, ton ethnon, at that time, hupe gaganta, they exercised control, or they subordinated. This from the verb hup, ago, and this is the aorist middle form. We all know what happened next. Gaius Julius Caesar, dunastausas, aorist active participle in the masculine singular nominative, having become a dynast or exercised power over them, hupertus, at that time, tata as a temporal adverb, and second participle, kratunamanos, having taken a firm grip on, ten hegemonion, the sovereignty, or the authority, ten hegemonion, and also, here's the third participle, diathemenos, from diatithemi, having established it as, s, a fulakenos file, a safe sort of guardianship, he did two things, tomen and de. He kept safe, fulakse, or preserved, this is the aorist of fulato, the schema, the system, tes politeas, of the government, as well as its name, i.e. republicanism, but epestesen. There is an aorist. He established himself as the sole ruler, the monarchy over them all, posse.